here to ask you a question. Did you make a career choice recently? Have you made a decision which was very, very difficult for you? Yes? Did you follow your heart or you followed your mind? Raise your hands if you followed your heart. Raise your hand if you followed your mind. So we have a mix of both, but we have more people here who follow their mind. You know, 80% of the people in this, on this planet Earth follow their mind when they're making a career choice. But do you know who are those 20% who are more successful? Are they the ones who follow their heart? Raise your hands if you think so. Yes? And are they the ones who actually followed their mind? Raise your hand if you think so. So we have a decision here that everybody here thinks either those people who follow their heart could be successful or those people who followed their mind could be successful. Am I right? We know of success cases in both the situations. But why do then people ask a question very often, should I follow my heart or should I follow my mind when I'm making a career decision? Have you seen that people asking those questions very often? Yes. As an educator and a career counselor for last 10 years, I have been asked this question many number of times. Students come to me and ask me, Purvi, should I follow my heart when I'm making a career decision or should I follow my mind? And I tell them, in either case, you can be successful. But you need to know one simple rule, that if you follow your heart, you need to make sure that your mind follows your heart later. You need to make sure that your mind is convinced then that it has to support your heart to make you successful. And if you follow your mind, then you need to convince your heart to make you successful. Have you seen examples in the industry of people who have chosen what they really wanted to do in life from their heart? I think one of the biggest examples uh, for engineering students sitting here would be Mr. Narayan Murthy. All of us know that he really started as an, as an entrepreneur by borrowing funds, right? He didn't have access to resources, but he really wanted to follow his passion of becoming an entrepreneur. Did he become an entrepreneur? Yes. How did he do that? He borrowed money, he borrowed resources, he followed his heart. But do you think he would have been so successful if he didn't let his mind really work in sync with his heart? No, right? So whoever follows their heart has to make sure that they lead their mind to support and be in sync with heart to be successful in life. So we can have as many examples as you want of people who have followed their heart and become successful and other people who have followed their mind and still become successful. And you know what? Today, you are living in an era where you do not have to be restricted by a career choice that you make after school or a career choice that you make after college. You can continue to make choices, you can continue to change careers as many times in your life and it will be beneficial to you. Who says that? A very, very important research conducted by Harvard University says about 47% of the jobs that you see today will vanish in a few years. About 47% of those people who are working on those careers will have to find another career. So is it good or is it bad? Yes, it is good because then those people will again get a choice and they would have to ask, should I now follow my heart or should I follow my mind? And at that point in time, they can again take a decision. Maybe last time they took a decision where they followed their mind. Maybe this time they can take a decision where they will follow their heart. What is easier in life, following heart or following mind? Yes, the important thing is, Making a decision in favor of your mind is easier because you can convince it by logic and say, this is the right direction. But it is always difficult to follow your heart first because it doesn't really look at logic. It looks at emotions. And it's very difficult to convince ourselves with emotions than by logic. So what do you really need to do? You need to remember as a student one important fact that either you're selecting a career on the basis of your heart 
or you're selecting on the basis of your mind. You will get a choice one day where you'll be resourceful enough and you will have the support of friends and family to have a decision made in favor of your heart. And that will be the day where you will cherish all those moments of your career before that, when you probably followed your mind, but you ensured that your heart was in sync with your mind and got you the results that you wanted to achieve. It got you to the person who became that person that day who could be courageous enough to follow the heart. And I would want to really ask you, do you know a person who struggled enough in life but was successful later? Raise your hands if you do. Yes, everybody has role models. Do you think that role model never had a problem or never had a challenge to discuss or decide between what he should follow, either his or her heart or his or her mind? Yes, everybody does that. So you need to ask yourself, even if I'm in a position today where maybe because of resources or maybe because of the environment or maybe because of a lack of a support system around you to follow your passion and heart, if you're required to follow your mind, you will still give your 100% to it. You will still ensure that you will make your heart work in sync with your mind to be successful, to reach a place where when the opportunity knocks again, saying knock, knock, opportunity here, at that point in time, you can confidently stand and say, today I will follow my heart. And I know everybody around me will be in sync with me. My family, my friends, my support system, my nation, my globe, my earth and my planet will all work in favor of me working towards my passion, what I really want to do in life from my heart. And then really take action to become significant in whatever you are doing. And at this point in time, I want you to know that each one of you has the capacity and capability to become a role model. For someone who's probably a budding student, for somebody who is probably a toddler today, who would look up to you years in coming and say, this was my role model, who first chose either the heart or the mind to follow a career, but ultimately reached a point where he or she became significant enough and contributed to the welfare of the world and to take the humanity further. So I wish to ask you, will you be the role model for the next generation? Yes. yes, that's the spirit I want you to live with and make sure whatever decision you take, it would be for your favor. It would be to ensure that the point that you really need to reach in life later would be the point where you can see yourself and say, I have achieved something significant. I have made a difference. I have left a legacy for this world to really consider me as a role model. So I'm looking forward to see each one of you as a role model to the coming generation. And with that note, I say thank you.